Hi there guys, welcome to another incredible episode here on Alia Homes. You are going to love it today. We're about to explore this incredible designer villa here in Camps Bay on the slopes of Table Mountain. Guys, this property is beautiful. The finishing touches, the high quality is the best I have seen here in Cape Town. It is amazing. A few details about the property. It has four ensuite bedrooms, there's five bathrooms, 818 square meters of living space, double garage, single garage, space for six cars on the driveway. Guys, I am so excited to go inside. Before we do, thank you Lance Cohen once again for giving us the opportunity to explore this incredible house and bring it back to the market, you guys. This property is going for 85 million Rand. I am so excited to take you in. But once again, before we do, there are some details I'd like to cover out here. For example, this incredible Namibian palm tree that was brought in because the local palm trees just are not good enough for this property. We have Japanese cedar wood that wraps around the front and this incredible stone featured wall just before you enter the house. Each one of these stones was laid by hand one by one. And this isn't just a feature wall, this wall goes all the way down. It's about that thick. You'll see it on the other side. All right, guys, I think it's time we go in and have a look. Come with me. just come through the front door. This house is exceptional. All the flooring is Italian wood. All the furnishings and finishes are selected Italian designers. Paolo Lenti, you've got Giorgetta, B&B, Italia. Incredible. This is high quality. This is the most luxurious home you can get in Cape Town. To my left here, you've got private lift, which takes you to all the levels in the house. You've got an incredible fe uh, light features above me as you walk through the door and beautiful artwork. Actually over here, this is a leather feature. This is pure leather and it's cut out. So when you walk through the home, you got the sea view to my right. All right guys, let's check out the guest powder room. If you come on in, exceptional detailed stone vanity. And look at this window. This window is amazing guys. All the light just flooding into the bathroom. The high ceilings, incredible. Like, I've never seen such high ceilings in the bathroom. And you've got a view of Lion's Head. Amazing, guys. Okay, so let's move forward and talk about the other features in this house. You'll notice that the lighting in here is exceptional. That's because this is German Delta lighting. This kitchen breakfast bar is actually 100-year-old wood from a sunken shipwreck. That's the quality of finishes you're going to find in this home. Here in the kitchen, this is a stone top area, very seamless, beautiful design. I love the ultra modern feel. All the appliances are Miele. You've got your wine fridge. You've got obviously your integrated fridge and freezer, freezer. Downstairs is another kitchen area. Could be used as a prep kitchen for when you have your chef round and you want him to prepare away from the guests. Just think the view from this kitchen standing here, making breakfast, making something to eat, making a drink and looking at that view, the sun is shining off the ocean right now like diamonds. I've actually got to put my sunglasses on. Walking through is open plan living. This area is vast, it's beautiful. Mirrors along this wall, highlighting the light coming in. These are sliding doors that open up to the balcony. All the way, they slide right down and tuck into the walls, giving you that open outdoor 
indoor living experience, which is essential here in Cape Town, especially in the summer months. Moving around this way, I'm going into the family living room area. This is an incredible cozy spot. It's really cozy in here, actually. We've got a beautiful window cutout, very cleverly done, allowing light into this area and giving you the view of Lion's Head when you sit back on your couch. Beautiful furnishings, obviously all selected from Italy. Just stepping outside onto the balcony, got this beautiful marbled floor throughout. Very interesting, very unique patterns. You've got a beautiful bar area, again with the same wood that came from that shipwreck. Behind on this bar, you've got a lovely surface area and plenty of space to house your drinks and whatever you need to have an occasion. And look at the size of the TV that you have outside. Absolutely massive. Again, you've got the Japanese cedar. And above me, you have an incredible skylight. So when you're sitting just here, you can actually see Table Mountain, but not just Table Mountain, you can see the cable car right in the center of this skylight, which you'll see in a moment. And of course, look at that view, guys. I am standing in Camps Bay at, in this incredible designer villa overlooking that ocean. This ocean is amazing, guys. The sun is out, it's blue sky. Cape Town is a beautiful city, and this must be one of the most unique spots. I could just stand here all day. I'm feeling the breeze. I'm smelling the ocean. I can hear birds chirping. The sun is out. I am loving this home. I'm going to head back inside, and I'll meet you upstairs. extremely luxurious. All right, guys, this is the top floor of the home, floor three. This is the office area. Of course, it can be turned into a beautiful entertainment area, as you can see, the incredible space that you have on the balcony. You've got the same marble finishes throughout. And if you just take a look at these massive outdoor lamps, I have never seen lamps at this scale before. Incredible. This is actually a pool for this top level, so this could really be an incredible entertainment area, guys. And just look at those views over the entire Atlantic Ocean. This must be the best view in the house. I've got lion's head in front of me, the Atlantic Ocean, Table Mountain, blue sky and the sun. This is incredible, guys. I love the fresh air out here. It's beautiful. I love this space. This is Cape Town. All right, guys, let's head back inside to show you the office a little bit. Of course, you've got the Italian, solid Italian wood flooring throughout, the beautiful wood desk, another little office area. You can see the solar panels on the roof here, and there are solar panels on the roof just off of the balcony. This is a little look over to your landing area. This is the top of that leather feature that had the cutout from the hallway downstairs. All right, guys, let's go downstairs. I'll see you down there. Just come from upstairs, but just look at the finishing touches here, guys. This is American walnut which is a beautiful wood, and you'll see it a bit more in the wine cellar, which we'll get to in a moment. And of course, here it is again, and this LED lighting underneath, incredible, guys. The first room on this level is the master bedroom suite. It is a walk-in wardrobe, it also is a walk-through wardrobe as it takes you to the main bedroom, but just take a look at the ample size of this space. I love the features it has in here. It's all glass, so you can see what you're going for before you go for it, and it's mirrored at the same time. All right, guys, let's head on in. It's beautifully air-conditioned in here, really cool. You've got incredible views of the Atlantic Ocean and Lion's Head. These doors, as you can see, they slide right back, almost all the way to the wall, giving you that incredible outdoor, indoor living experience. A little bit about the room, this couch, and a lot of the furnishings are B&B Italia, as we've mentioned before, and Giorgetta. It's super soft, lovely artwork around me. This is an incredible marble stone feature with a massive TV screen once again. Hastings mattress and beds in every room. Lovely wooden feature around the bed. And of course, lovely blinds 
bring in natural sunlight to the space. It's a fresh look. Heading this way is the ensuite. Of course, it opens to the outside as well. Exceptional bath, guys. Luxurious with the marble all around. I love the white and black contrast that all these bathrooms have in the home. This is Zimbabwean granite stone, one piece, double vanity, floating with your mirror, black marble around, and of course you've got your walk-in shower with the biggest rain shower head I have ever seen. Just take a look. Let's head in to your walk-in water closet. You've got your Japanese toilet, which is all electrical, and of course you've got a view. The view, this is probably the best view of the sea. It is incredible and you've got it in your water closet. All right guys, let's head back out to the hallway on this level and check out the other bedrooms. Come with me. Coming out of the master bedroom, also another unique features on this wall, just take a look. Here's your uh, Mickey Mouse cutout. But on this side is the missing piece. It's very cool, I love it. Look at this rug going all the way down the hallway. Before we check out this room, which has a unique feature, we'll go into this bedroom first. Come with me. As you walk in, you've got your ensuite to my right. You've got a lovely walk-in shower, very nice. Your black marble, vanity area, stone top once again. Incredible, beautiful bathroom. I love the white and black contrast that they have going on. Coming out of the bathroom, we'll walk into the main part of the room. You've got the Hastings beds and mattress. You've got a little workspace here. And of course, it has balcony access to enjoy that incredible view. Once again, this flooding light into the room. And we'll work our way actually down this balcony and walk into the third bedroom on this floor where the door just slides all the way back. It's a mirror reflection of the other room. Same finishings, same finishing, high quality touches and furniture with the ensuite bathroom. Stone vanity area. I love the black marble once again, and the LED lighting around. All the toilets in this house are those Japanese toilets. It's all very fancy and electrical. Let's head out. We're back here in the hallway and we're gonna work our way into the fourth bedroom. But before we do, we're gonna go through the kids' play area. This is an AstroTurf area. Above me right now is actually the bridge that took us to the main entrance of the house. So let's head back inside to just check out the fourth bedroom. From this room, you can actually see Lion's Head. You've got the view of Lion's Head from this room. None of the other rooms have that. And besides that, this room is a little bit bigger. It comes with the ensuite, the beautiful stone vanity, your Japanese toilet, your walk-in shower, but this room comes with a sneaky little feature which you have to see. I hope you're excited, guys. This is the most insane home theater I have ever stepped into. This home theater was actually nominated as one of the top 10 in the world. It has full Adobe Atmos surround sound. These couches are extremely comfortable. They've got little nooks here to put your stuff when watching the film. Look at this, the size of the screen is also really big. I cannot wait to get a movie on and show you guys. All right guys, let's move out of the cinema room and head back to the main hallway of this level and go downstairs. I'd love for us to go down this staircase together. Look at these beautiful light features above me. The stepping off the staircase, you're blessed with the most fabulous part of this house. To my right, you have an incredible home aquarium with exotic fish brought in from overseas. And just look at the design around the aquarium. Christian Dior's store in London had the same sculptor design their shop as this aquarium right here. Incredible, that's the luxury you get with this home. Of course, all the artwork, the furniture, the finishing touches are all done by Italian furnishers straight from Milan. Just like to talk about this back wall, incredible texture design, very cool detail. And of course, right behind me, this is my favorite part of the home, the wine cellar. Let's step inside, it's temper contr controlled, it's humidity controlled. You can hold about 1,000 bottles of wine in here and you can set up nice tasting tables right here in the center. They're glass doors, so you can have it as a feature so you can see in and out. And of course you want to see out because you actually got a slight sea view from here as well. 
All right, guys, this is all American walnut. I'd just like to bring that up and let's head on out. Before we check out your backyard, your garden, I just want to bring us through this way to another part, another wing of this floor. It has a bathroom, of course, because you've got your pool down here. So this is your, you've got a walk-in shower after you go to the pool, you've got a stone vanity. It's just like all the other bathrooms in this house, absolutely, absolutely exceptional. Here is the other kitchen of the house. This could be your prep kitchen, also for entertaining guests outside. There is a barbecue area, but if you prefer to use an indoor kitchen, there's one downstairs for you. To my right, you've got the fridge and the microwave. That's a storage cupboard. Here's your elevator. And sneakily, at the back of this property, you have a brand new Swedish sauna. Just step on in here, guys. This is exceptional. Luxury. It is amazing in here. It has such a clean feel. I love this granite wall at the back. It is beautiful, guys. This, I love saunas. If you love saunas, this sauna definitely beats them all. And another cool feature about this sauna, which is probably the cherry on top, is the surround sound right above me. Yeah, I can even see my cameraman. It was like, what? He just looked up and couldn't believe it. There's surround sound in your sauna. Walking into the backyard, and as you'll notice, it has popping colorful furniture, all from Paolo Lenti. To my left, you've got this beautiful tree, beautiful stone feature, and the biggest lamp I have ever seen in my life. Just look at the size of that lamp. Just take a moment and take it in. All right, guys, here's the pool over here, the beautiful marble throughout. You've got your barbecue area to my left, pizza oven right in front of me. It has all the trimmings, guys. It has space for the barbecue to go in, but it's actually not in yet, as they're waiting on the newest model to be installed. Paolo Fenty, furnishings again, TV there. Another one of the biggest lamps I've ever seen. Sleepers over here. And then just come here, I wanna show you the detail of this wall. Usually these stone walls are done as a feature, but this is actually one of the main walls of this house that are holding them. Just come over here and take a look at the vastness of this stone wall. Each one of these stones was laid by hand, one by one, yeah. Up here leads to your maid's quarters. There's two bedrooms, they've got four kitchens with the exact same high-end trimmings as the main home. We will try get some footage for you. All right, guys, let's head this way. There's a nice grass area. You've got lightings throughout the garden so at night it's all lit up nicely on the surroundings it's a beautiful grass area it's a magnificent pool and look at the view from my garden i've got the ocean right in front of me and i've got lion's head in this room is a very unique feature of the house firstly it does have the aquarium filtration system which is fully automated utilities area again but in this room you've got Tesla batteries. All of these batteries are solar powered. In fact, this house is run on 50% solar, 50% on the grid. So you're saving a lot of energy in this house. Another cool fact is these power the home during energy blackouts called load shedding in South Africa. So this house gets entirely supported by these Tesla batteries, except for the lift and the air conditioning. All right guys, I'll see you inside. All right, guys, that brings us to the end of another incredible video here on Alia Homes. We just toured today this most incredible family luxury designer villa right behind me. I just wanted to end the video here so you could see the beauty of the facade from your garden area with all the lights on and the sliding doors open. The little reminder about the property, it's listed at 85 million Rand, guys. That is an incredible value for money here in Cape Town, Camps Bay. Beautiful. I'd like to thank Lance one more time for giving us this incredible opportunity to bring this listing back to you guys in Europe. All right, guys, if you have any comments, drop them in the section below. Or if, interest, or if you're interested in buying the property, just head to our website or send us a little email. You'll find our contacts in the section below as well. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.
Oh, 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 oh,